Hello friends, uh, today I am going to talk about uh, Saturn, uh, Saturn, uh, certain issues which I have uh, seen uh, through my research uh, and Saturn as such is supposed to be a very cold planet, it does a lot of negativity, it, it, is, it is barren, it can create problems, it can you know, it can make you work, make you work very hard, uh, there are so many things associated with a dry planet. There are so many things associated with Saturn. Saturn is also mm, the lot of structure, order, discipline. It is a karak of your enemies, diseases, deaths, death. Uh, it, so it, it, it governs the 6th, 8th and 12th house, which are like important houses in, uh, in anybody's life. So that way Saturn is extremely important. Uh, Saturn is a karmic planet and without and a weak Saturn is a very negative thing for any horoscope to have. And uh, a weak Saturn is one of the most negative things that a person can have. And that is my assessment. Saturn has to be strong um, to to, give, to make anything of anybody. And in my research, you know, I have seen that Saturn uh, is, though the multi-cone sign is Aquarius, I have seen Saturn gives better result in Capricorn because that is its first sign of where it, you know, things it's got depth. It's got, uh, it can, it can, um, it can visualize things. Uh, it, it, it can, it, it has the kind of a um, the Capricorn sign. You know, is more uh, tuned to Saturn's nature, and Saturn does m more better in Capricorn is my feeling. Of course, Saturn does better, uh, extremely well in um, Libra, which is a sign of balance and which is a sign which, uh, which is, uh, which, which, which Saturn is, you know, a kind of karmic planet. And, you know, it is like, uh, though Venus, you should understand, governs in, to some extent in the Kalpurush, uh, this thing, the second and seventh house, it governs death. So the balance of life and death between life and death is what is important and that is what Saturn governs. So what would be your karma between your life and death? And therefore Saturn when it is in Libra, it, it is actually plays a very good role and it also shows that you've done uh, good things in your past life. Now Saturn I've seen uh, does very well in its, uh, in its uh, Kendra signs and Trikon signs. I mean, it should be in Kendra and Trikon and not in the uh, fiery signs like Aries, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a problem there. Uh, Saturn is definitely not good in, um, in Cancer. In Cancer, Saturn becomes very determined, you know. And the results of Saturn and Cancer have to be seen in a very, in a very different way. It, 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 can, it, it gives two it gives to rise of certain things which uh, border to negativity but in the perception of people or if you look at that person you will feel that you know he's like a dictatorial person he's done something which is negative you know it's like it's 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 saturn gets a sign and determination comes in saturn when it is in cancer in Leo also it's not does not does very well but cancer in saturn is my research and it uh, gives results depending on a lot of other things but it gives results which are like you know a determined person going to fight an enemy so that is what it does it's like saturn is determination and it's going to fight you know a lot of emotions and things around it because if you look at saturn then if you look at the nakshatra of cancer it is governed by jupiter saturn and mercury I mean, like the three planets, which uh, I mean, which uh, which are the lord of which 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 are the nakshatras, uh, which are there, the punush, punarvasu, pushya, and ashlesha, and Saturn has a peculiar relationship with all of them. So Saturn in Cancer is very very interesting and has to be under, especially if it is in Cancer and the uh, My second thing, which I have seen always, is that uh, uh, Saturn when it is in uh, the Trikon signs, the fifth and ninth signs, does very well, and it does very well for politicians. 
Saturn in fifth, uh, fifth, so Purva Karma, and uh, ninth is the Karma which you do. And Saturn being a carving planet itself, when it is placed in fifth and ninth, it uh, gives very good results, especially for political people. Uh, it gives the kind of a thought and thinking which is different out of the box. The Saturn in Trikon is very well. Saturn in Kendra is very well. One should be careful, and it is my it is the next thing which I am telling you is Saturn with Mars and Saturn aspecting Mars. I have seen at some point of death, some point of uh, time, uh, there is an accident, or the death is accidental. Uh, there is a kind of a a fiery nature to it which it gives. Saturn Mars, I do not consider it to be very good. It may give a nature to a person where a person you know, can you know, move forward without uh, any problems. I mean, you know, if, it's, uh, if Saturn Mars typically, when it looks at each other, such or it is with, with together, such people have got a kind of a strong determination in the sense key, you know, if they don't like a person and they don't like a thing or if they don't like a structure, whatever, depends on what the horoscope is, they, they just move ahead and they don't look back to the person who has either deceived them or harmed them or they have deceived or harmed them. So Saturn Mars has that kind of a nature but it also has the potential of uh, giving a death which is uh, uh, which is a, a violent streak uh, can always be there and that is very important when you look at uh, this thing. Uh, in cases of transit I have seen uh, Saturn does very well when it's, it actually uh, goes from Capricorn to Aries. I mean, when it is transiting from Capricorn to Aries or from the 7th to the 10th house, it, you know, it does extremely well. For Capricorn to Aries, it definitely does uh, very well in an horoscope and especially in the horoscopes of politicians and businessmen, that will be the peak time of rise. And when it is from Aries to Cancer, a Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, by the time it enters the third house, uh, I mean, assuming you have a Cancer ascendant, by the time it enters Virgo, I mean, it, 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 it is the end of the, that bullet politician's career and I've seen. So, Saturn does very well uh, net net when it is in Capricorn to Aries uh, and then there is a down for Aries to Cancer and Cancer um, I mean, till the time it reaches Virgo kind of a thing, it disseminates the person and this I have seen again and again in a horoscope of a lot of politicians. In case of mundane astrology, I have also seen that whenever Saturn is in the fiery signs of Aries, Scorpio, uh, Taurus also, uh, or Cancer, uh, and when uh, Mars comes in conjunction with it, 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 it gives a kind a lot of events. Uh, for the country, for the big politicians, for the people. So Saturn with Mars, uh, I mean Saturn when in the signs which are not friendly to it, the violent signs or the signs like Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, these are three signs which I have a lot of research on. When it is there and Mars also comes in conjunction with Saturn, it gives to a lot of events uh, internationally all in the nation which leave a mark effect. This is mundane astrology, but uh, I have seen it again and again and uh, this is quite the truth. Saturn and Rahu are again very important planets if you have to detect cancer. This is a cancer uh, the planet will play a very important role and one has to see them in a very different way. I'll, I'll discuss some diseases someday when I make a horoscope of how uh, Rahu and Saturn play a very important role, especially when it comes to cancer. So that's that's again an important thing which is which, which is there. So this is it, my my you know certain research and uh, points of Saturn which uh, I've tried to tell. Uh, I hope you liked it and uh, you know uh, let's understand it's a karmic planet. We should go towards it and uh, without Saturn there is no life. Thanks and bye for now.